so much to Adelmeier and today I'm going to show you the integration between Service Manager, Orchestrator and a little bit of PowerShell magic to provide a service request for your users where they can add themselves to a group and get access to whatever. What you see here is the self-service portal and we have categories, one of them is uh, user account management and uh, we have three service offerings. One of them is uh, put your own user to the to an AD group. Um, the request offering itself is quite simple from the user side. So the user just puts in justification and then can select um, a group. One of these groups is uh, called SC Demo, and this group, I'm just going to show you shortly in the Active Directory Management module, uh, currently has no members and is managed by a person called Sabine Sorglos Demo. Okay, so she should be notified uh, if somebody needs access. So we continue and uh, submit the service request and now uh, the request is going to be processed by service manager. So what's happening in the background, sorry, okay, it's here, um, is we have a service request template found in the library and this is called user to group and this template actually has three activities inside Uh, the first activity is a runbook activity figuring out who is the manager of the user group. The second is a review activity and the third one is again a runbook which puts the user to the group. Please see that um, the review activity currently in the template has no reviewer inside. So this should be set dynamically uh, by this runbook here. Okay, um, so let's see what the first step is doing in Orchestrator. Um, from the user side, again, I'm going to the self service portal. Uh, the service request should be in progress, and the first runbook, yeah, is already working. So let's go to the runbook designer. Uh, you see it's running already and what's happening here is I'm getting uh, to make it easier for you to understand here I dealing I'm dealing with service request itself here I'm dealing with the run with the activities inside here I'm dealing with the active directory user objects and group objects in service manager user objects and group objects in service manager and here I get the active directory access I'm putting this runbook on the website so you can download it. So I'm getting all the objects, where is this, which service request is it, um, and all the runbooks, or runbook activities. And finally, I'm getting the AD user group from Active Directory, where the common name, and here I'm taking the display name from the AD group and as this is displayed as domain name backslash group uh, username I'm just taking the second part of this so I get the common name and then I get the group manager which is quite simple um, where this um, field here is the managed by field and I'm again cutting it in a format that uh, I can use it later. The reason is this is the distinguished name with, with all the um, organization units behind so I have to put it in a format to use it. Okay. Um, the real magic is inside this runbook activity which uh, is called here 
and this is a little PowerShell script uh, which is rather easy to explain because what it does it's I'm loading the um, SMLets module then I'm defining a couple of variables and here I get the review activity from the RAM book and here I get the group owner um, and then I create two relationships one of them is that the review activity has a reviewer but this one is going to be empty and the second step here that the um, reviewer is actually a person, a user account and um, then I processing these two relationships and remove the SMLets. Okay, let's see if the first run book has run. It is finished and so what we should have now is um, in the activities we should have a review activity not yet but should be in place shortly let's go to the portal okay still pending okay meanwhile the first step is completed and uh, the second step should be in progress um, and the review activity should already be, yeah, here it is. It's in progress. So if we go to the service manager console, we have this review activity here. And if we open it, wonderful, Mrs. Sabine Sorglos is the reviewer. Uh, we simulate the approval now, which means, okay, that's fine. And now service manager will do the next step in the background. Uh, sorry. Um, so after a while, the next run book will be started shortly. Uh, this run book now simply um, takes again which run book activity do we have, what is the service request behind, um, gets the AD group. Um, relationship gets the AD group gets the user and then adds the user to the group with the distinguished name uh, from the Rambok activities in front okay this should be finished in a second so the runbook finished already um, as we see in the runbook designer so it ran uh, a couple of seconds ago and meanwhile in the active directory we check the membership of this group and here we have the user inside completely automatically so the service request should show rather if it's finished And uh, okay, little backlog here, still in progress, but it happened already. And now the runbook will uh, publish that it's finished and the service request will be completed in Service Manager. So in the next part of the demo, I'm going to show you how you create the service request and do the user and the data mapping. So you can do this on your own in your own environment.